Hello, Elsa. How are you? Good night. It's the first time that I first <laughs> in the class. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and now I have a camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's because this is the laptop from my work. And I, I never... Oh, how do you say holding because this is 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 big. You never. Oh, oh my gosh! Bring, bring, with me. Ah, uh, I can. Okay, it's too big. It's too big. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. How was your weekend, Elsa? Um. Well, it's hard because um, I have a um, training uh, Saturday uh, since 8 to 12. I have a training about macros, pivot table, and other things. So, and uh, I, I, I really don't enjoy, enjoy my, my, my weekend. Okay, okay. <coughs> oh, do you have flu? I do. I have a uh, fever and a cough. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Things when? Uh, since Saturday afternoon, mm. I started with the, my throat felt weird. And then Sunday I had the cough and the mm. fever and then oh my gosh. the pain in the body. But mm. 
I think, okay. Almost. You, 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 you take a, a COVID test, no? No, I have to wait. You have to wait three days to ah, take the COVID okay. test. Ah, really? Yes, because you have to wait for the... Um, after the symptoms, you have to have wait three days because if not, maybe it's negative, the test. Oh, yeah. Mm. So but you have pills. I can take I can take the test on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I got it. Okay. But you take a pills. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I, a lot of pills. <laughs> I, have, okay. I have my I have the thermometer. Okay. <laughs> I have the oximeter and I have, oh. I have a lot of medicine. Oh my gosh. And you have to work, no? Only, only in this class. Oh, only, really? Only these two classes. In the others, I, I told them, because this is online and the other ones I have to go to the <gasps> place. So oh, I, told no. them, I told them, no, it's better to prevent. Yes, yes, I, I, I get it, okay. But online, uh, <laughs> if I cough or something, it's not a big deal. But in yeah. but in person, Im imagine I coughing and then yeah, maybe no, some no, no. someone gets sick because of me is is dangerous. Yes, yes, I I know, I know. Mm -hmm. hey, teacher, I have a problem with grammar because I got it in the in that moment, no. And when I I I do the test, I always be good. But when I have to speak, Pick with someone, mm, uh, or uh, special with is American American people. Mm -hmm. I forgot every rules. Mm -hmm. It's because you are worried too much about the rules and not about the speaking. Yeah, it, and so what can I do? Is not worry about speaking correctly. Only practice speaking, because you are concerned about doing it correctly that you you do it incorrectly so it's uh, the grammar it's like um for example it's like uh it's like riding a bicycle elsa i can tell you how to ride the bicycle i can give you the instructions and explain to you but if mm -hmm. you don't ride the bicycle you never learn and you are worried yeah. about it. so it's the same thing for the grammar you are learning everything for academic but not for usage you need to use yeah yeah i got it Mm -hmm. okay okay all right guys we're it's good to have everybody here um we're going to start off with our uh our rooms we're gonna go ahead and talk with our partners about our weekend and just catching up uh, asking and answering questions about how your weekend was what you did uh things like that okay okay all right perfect
Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, ever. Okay. It's good to have everybody back. I'm glad you had a chance to practice your questions in the past tense and talk about your weekend. Uh, before we continue, does anybody have any questions about the platform? Any exercises that are giving you difficulty or you're not sure about? Yes, for the platform, sorry, teacher, hi, good evening. And the last one in the exam, I can, I could do it, I could, I could do it. Uh, it's still not fixed, huh? Yeah, it's not, not yet, yeah. Okay, let me see, good. Mm -hmm. The last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to respond, but I don't know because I need to read. But okay. mm -hmm. in the exercise C and we write the sentence, it's the number two. I don't know. I write for the a thousand. <laughs> for <laughs> and I failed. Okay, no worries. Let me just write the message right now. And that way we can make sure that it gets fixed. Thank you. If not, I'll help you out with what is the correct one. All right, I sent them a message again. Okay, only the last part, right? Letter D? Yes. Okay. Yes. Anybody else, any questions or comments for the platform? No, teacher. Okay. Everybody's finished for lesson five. Everybody finished up to five? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, good, right. good. Uh-huh. I'm not yet the the final exam. I have problem in in the in the in the exam rewriting sentences and the first turn out the lights before you leave the the option have to I, I don't know the I don't had had can is the, the sentence okay let's take a look uh so we can see what you're talking about is which section the rewrite sentences uh, the uh, three sections section third uh, la tercera <laughs> yep yeah yeah this one uh, this one yes 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 okay uh, so you have to use the word have to to make a sentence. So here we have turn off the lights before you leave. So how can we make a sentence using have to? Yes. 
Mm -hmm. Who can yes. help them? Uh, yes. Uh, you have to turn out the, the lights. Uh, okay. uh, but no. No, it's correct. It's not correct. It's not correct. Really? Let's check. The lights. No, it's correct. Before you. You see, it's correct. You have to turn off the lights. It's correct answer. You have to turn out the lights before you leave. Yes, this is the sentence. Okay, but it's I check in. I, I maybe when you were writing, you didn't put in the the yes, correct the correct possible. period or capital letter or two spaces. You have... And the second one. Okay. You have to turn out. So no eating or drinking in the classroom. Mm -hmm. You can no eating or drinking in the classroom. Okay, you you what? You can't eating or drinking in the in no the no you can't eating. Eat or correct. Drink. You can't eat. No, but I'm okay. Or drink. Drink. Or drink. Mm -hmm. In the classroom. Okay, thank you. Let's take a look. Uh-huh. Okay, and I maybe I um write someone. Okay, uh, to finish. Someone that. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you put in an extra letter. Uh -huh or an extra space or something something yes. different okay good any other questions no anybody else making sure the platform's okay henry it's okay yeah okay thank you you're welcome Ana Dimas, any questions yes teacher i have a question but i have a problem with my internet in the computer, mm -hmm. but I remember uh, I have a problem in free writing. Let me put in the in the term uh, after the <coughs> section three. This is the section three. Oh, okay. uh -huh. After That's... the uh, next section. I don't remember. In the reading section. No. Three. Yes, here. Uh -huh. No, and the other one. In number three. Mm. Anna, in number three. Uh, no teacher. Uh, and the uh, uh, is a uh, the place uh, have two two parts. In what section? The second one, I think, teacher. In this part, complete the conversation. Oh, other one. In listening. No. What? That's it. <laughs> Those are the four. These mm. are, that's it, Ana Dimas. Only these. It's only listening. And then after listening, we have complete the conversation. That's it. You can see. No, then we have no. rewrite the sentence, only three questions. And then the last one is reading. That's it. Mm -hmm. so I don't know which, which section you mean. My internet is wrong, teacher. I can I can see. <laughs> it's okay, Anna. That's why okay. in the next in the next time in the notebook, write down 
the section and the number. That way, when you have the class, you can ask the question and you don't forget. Yes, this is, thanks. Yeah, yeah, no problem. When you, when you discover which one it is, Anna, you tell us and we will help you. Okay, teacher, thanks. You're welcome. Katya, you had a question? No, teacher. Okay. You sure? All right, guys. So then I guess everybody is should be almost finishing the exam. Everybody's finished with lesson five, right? So we're doing good. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a moment and we're gonna take a review. We're gonna take a look at all of the course that we've seen from section one, okay? So in section one, two, three, four, and five, we're gonna take a look at all of them. Okay. So section one was, it's really worth seeing. Okay, so here we have unusual museums. If you remember, this is the one where we're talking about uh, using the passive voice with by. So here is many of the different things. Okay, so what we're going to do is with your partners, you're going to create a presentation summarizing in your own words, lesson one. What information is important for me to learn? What is the things that are necessary for me to apply? So one more time with your partners, you're going to create a summary of lesson one. So what, what do I need to know? What was important from unit one? Uh, what was the grammar? What were the tips or the, the things that are necessary for me to know? And then you're going to present, you're going to prepare the presentation and you and your partner, the two, are going to explain in your own words what it is. You're going to give examples. You're going to explain the grammar. You're going to give Make sure that everybody understands. <laughs> Any questions? Mm. What the type of, what the kind of presentation only for the, only for the, no, no, um, no writing only. No, no, no writing, only speaking. Only right now you explain with your partner, exactly. Only you explain with your partner what it is. Okay. So remember, this is lesson one. Lesson one, you and your partners, you have, a, let's see, you have 10 minutes, 10 minutes to look at the grammar, remember the grammar and prepare your presentation and then explain to the class that the tips, the information, the vocabulary from unit one. Omar, Carla, Henry, do you have problems joining?
Henry, you're having problems with the internet. Henry, what happened? Henry, what happened?
Okay, are we ready? Okay, let's see. Yancy, oh wait, Yancy disappeared. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, Yancy, okay. Don't know what happened with Yancy. Ana Vilma and Dalia, then I think you two of you were partners, right? Yes, Ana Vilma and me, yeah. Okay. Okay, we think that the passive, uh, we talk to the passive with by, we use in three situations. This is the most, the most important, we, we think uh, the first one is we don't, we don't know who did the action. When we don't know, you use the passive with by. The third one, the, the second is, there is no doer of the action. And the third, when the fact is more important than the doer of the action. And, and we, we think that the, the grammar, the structure of the grammar when you have an uh, active voice, is the subject plus verb plus object. The, uh, the subject must plus verb plus object. And when the, is the passive voice, you have the object first, plus was somewhere, plus past participle, plus by, and plus subject. The subject is the last one. And we're talking about the, this topic is really, for us, it is uh, don't use uh, every day, for example, when they do uh, um, study English and only talking in past or in present or in future. But when do you put this, uh, this lesson in your mind, it's really difficult when you're talking, when you thinking, but when they, we read or, or watch the movie, for example, to find out two, two titles is, is um, very um, uh, is very easy to to write uh, to see, to watch it and understand the context. But uh, every day you can, for example, with without this is um, don't use every day. But it is really important. This this lesson is really important for us. Is uh, put in or or or, or lexical, yeah. And our mind is in talking uh, around this topic too, because when do you read? When do you watch it? When do you uh, talking around? When they started uh, everything you need to, to use to passive voice. 
and then we we need to learn uh, very good this 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 lesson okay all right oh good ideas you have the, the main ideas let's see if another group has some examples that they can give us also Ana Dimas, Ana Pineda. Hey, Henry, you returned. Okay. <laughs> Some technical issues. Sorry, teacher, but uh, we we um, thin around the, the, the example. For example, Ana say uh, the food was cooking by mom <laughs> because maybe Ana Vilma of the angry. The food was prepared <laughs> by mom. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yes. All right. Thank you, Dalia. But remember, it's not correct. The food was cooking. It's not okay. cooking. Yes, it's cooked. Cook it. yeah. Correct. But remember, yes. the pronunciation yes. is cooked. Cooked. Cook. Thank you so much. Yes. Always the past participle. Good, good. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look uh, for the an another one. Okay, good. Uh, Ana Dimas and Ana Pineda. Well, we saw always the same that the uh, partner says. We say that you you use the past parties the passive voice when you want to. Uh, I don't. I don't understand my letter. When you the passive make emphasis in something, change the emphasis. Maybe I wrote, I, I don't understand my letter. <laughs> then to express an idea, and we use it in, in for example, in two ways. And when we uh, we don't know who did the action and, the, and when the fact is more important than the action. And then we did an example. And I can set the examples. Okay. <clears throat> Change. Anna. Anna. Uh, example, teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us, some, give us the examples. Okay. An active, active. Uh, Actually, the use the Bitcoin is most of the, if the Europe, the Europe is used, is most of the, the Europe, no, the Bitcoin is used in most in Europe. The chain is at the bear and, and active are simple present and passive, um, past participle. Okay, all right. Um, how do you know uh, when is the passive? What, what, is, what is the grammar, Ana Dimas, uh, for the passive? How do you make the passive? <laughs> well, the structure, the structure, teacher. Yes. Uh, the object, I use uh, the verb be, was or were, um, plus a uh, past participle. Uh, I use by the the article adjective by. Okay, all right, pretty good, Anna. Only one part, only one thing to remember is the passive is not a time. The passive is not a present, a past, or a future. Uh, it's not a time. So you can use any verb to be. You can use is, was. You can use are, um, were, uh, you can use been, uh, mm. you can use anyone, but it's not a time. It's always the verb to be in the past participle. <coughs> okay. But good, oh. good, good idea. Okay. Thanks. Yep. All right. Let's take a look at Gabby and Katya. Um, hello. Um, we were talking with Katia and, and Omar about pronunciation. That is very important to know that sometimes the letter O can sound in different ways. For example, K 
can sound like an O, like, um, like an U, for example, in book. We don't say book, we, we say book. And also can, can sound uh, like an... I I forgot, but it can sound in different ways, and it's and it's really important to to practice the pronunciation. Um, about the uh, the passive voice, it's important to know that we can use always the verb in past participle. So it's um it's it, it would be really really nice that you learned at least some basic uh irregular verbs for you to to improve uh, that uh, topic okay good gabby and your partner was uh katya right yeah katya and omar but omar couldn't give us uh, much participation because he was in her in his way home so we couldn't hear it very well okay okay and katya when do you know the pronunciation when do we pronounce like you or like o the letter o in pronunciation teacher in pronunciation uh-huh so when do we know how to pronounce the letter in the different forms? I don't have the words. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Katya, it's okay. That your partner explained, I just make sure that you understand. It's important that you understand also. Don't worry, Katya, uh, I'll help you. Remember guys, we pronounce O when it's one letter. We normally pronounce U when it's two O's, like in the case of pool, book, uh, uh, food. And those, these in these moments, we use the U sound, not normally an O sound, okay? So usually if the word has two O's, it's going to sound like a U, like a U. All right, uh, let's take a look at the next one. Um, Elsa and Mirna, what did you learn? Good night, teacher. Hello. Uh -huh. Yeah, Hello. tell us, tell us. And the unit one, we uh, study the passive voice is the, we don't know who did the action. I, I write this sentence in simple past. The cat ate a mouse and the passive voice, the mouse was ate by the cat. I don't know this, okay? And the past. The idea is correct, but not the sentence. The, the mouse was ate by the cat. The idea is correct, but always is past participle not past tense, always past parts. Okay. So uh -huh. okay. the correct is the, the mouse was eaten. Eaten by the cat. Correct. Always okay. past participle. Mm -hmm. And the, the active voice sentence, uh, we need the subject plus verb plus object. And my sister write, write a book in 19, 96 and passive voice my sister wrote a book uh, my, the book was written by my sister in 1996 and passive voice correct correct Mirna good Elsa anything else well um all you need one is uh, for what, what the emphasis emphasize is in a uh, passive form, no? And we have to focus in the action and not, and not who did the action. And um, 
also uh, is uh, we have to be clear that that uh, the past participle we will use with uh, simple past and simple present, and we will use passive uh, also. Uh, we'll know who did the action, right? I think. Okay, good, good idea, guys. So in general, as I mentioned, it, it, we want to use the passive voice many times when we talk about what happened, okay? So when you, you think about like a police, when you say, when the police say, hey, what happened? Oh, the man crashed or my car was crashed into or um, uh, my wallet was stolen. You are describing the situation to the police because there, many times you know what happened, but you don't know who did it. For example, you go home and you look and in your house, there is no TV, no furniture. Oh, my house was robbed. This is the idea of the passive voice. This is the function. We use it for describing normally or reporting activities that have happened. Okay. So in this moment, what we're going to do is with our partners, we're going to go again. Okay. And Peter, I have a question. Yes. But if we don't know who did the action or, or, or something like this, why? We say by someone, someone. No, no, the someone isn't necessary. You can say by someone, but it doesn't mean that someone, that you know the person. Mm -hmm. So for example, my house was cleaned. Okay. Someone did it, but I don't know who. My house was robbed. Someone did it because the, how, the things don't move by themselves, but I don't know who did it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's only, you can only, mm -hmm. you put by at the end, only if you want to include the extra information or if you know it, but it's not necessary. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. All okay. right. So with our partners, we're going to try that. We're going to practice reporting the things. What happened? A, imagine a police accident. Imagine your house was stolen. Imagine something, uh, 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 something that happened to your family. You are reporting it, okay? Uh, you are reporting the things, what happened. That's the idea for it. So with our partner, let's create the different situations. One can be the police officer, one can be the person reporting, one can be the doctor, the other can be the patient. The idea is to report, okay? Thank you. 
Okay, <clears throat> so now we have some examples, some ideas of how to use the passive is to report things, to explain things, uh, to talk about like in the police report, things like that. Henry, who was your partner? Uh huh. But I don't see Henry turn on the microphone. What happened, Henry? Ana Pineda. Okay. Give us an example, guys. How do we use it? How, give us an example how we're using the passive voice. Passive voice is just the 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 English calls a uh, passive voice. Uh, the the paradigm 
uh, was said by judge, uh, quest by the judge. Okay, Henry, uh, repeat your sentence. The, the verdict was said by the judge, quest. Uh huh. What is very that? Sorry, I don't say sentencia. Sentencia. The sentence. The sentencia. The sentence. Uh -huh. The sentence was was said for was said by judge. Okay. West. All right. All right, Henry. All right. More or less, it's good, Henry. We just need to work a little bit on the on that fluency and vocabulary. All right, guys. So we're gonna pause right there. That's the example that Henry gave us for the passive. Remember, tomorrow we're going to be looking at unit two, unit two. So make sure that unit two is clear. And to finish five, the exam of the after unit five, in case you have any questions, okay? Okay. And, and they will fix the, the, the last exercise. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know, but I report. <laughs> I don't uh -huh. know, for some, but I report. So don't worry. We'll have it. We'll, we'll get a solution. Okay. All right. Have a nice night, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.